Hi everybody, I'm Miss Laura. I'm one of the Spark Parent Partners at Maslin, and I am going to read you a story today. I love to read books. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I want to share with you this book that I think is a really good one. So let's take a look at the book. The title is Kiss Good Night. Down at the bottom we have some names of special people. Amy Hest is the author of the book. That means she wrote all the words of the story. And it's illustrated by Anita Jaron. So that means she made all the pictures. So those two women work together to make this book for us. Now I want to show you something kind of special. Not all books do this, but some do. You see the front cover here? When I open it so we can see the back cover, look, it makes one big picture. So that's kind of cool. Some books do that if you open them up. The front and cover, front cover and back cover work together to make one picture. So you might want to look at some of your books and see if any of them do that. And I always like to look at the front cover of the book to get a hint about what the story might be about. So we look at this one, we see a little bear, he's in bed. And who might this be? I bet that's his mom. And it's called Kiss Good Night, so I think we can guess that this book is going to be about going to bed at night. That's something we all do every night. We go to bed. So let's read the story. Inside the front cover is a picture. Ooh, there's a pretty bird flying. And what's this? The moon is in the sky and the sky is dark. Does that mean it's daytime or nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. Um, and oh, look, there's even a, a leaf flying. It must be very windy. The leaves are all flying off the trees. The next page, this is our title page. Every book has a title page. One of the first pages inside. And it's called that because it has the title again. Kiss Goodnight by Amy Hest, illustrated by Anita Jerum. And in this title page, oh, we see a fox over here. See the little fox running? There's a long street. We see the leaves are blowing again all over. And there's some houses along the street. You live in a house on a street, don't you? I don't know if you know the name of your street, but this street is called Plum Street. So let's see what happens when this little bear goes to bed on Plum Street. It was a dark and stormy night on Plum Street. Oh, look in the window. There's the little bear. I think he sees these leaves blowing around and the moon in the sky before he gets into bed. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear was putting Sam to bed. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Hmm, must be something else they need to do. Mrs. Bear sat on the bed beside Sam and they read his favorite book and they both knew all the words. When you have a favorite book that you read over and over again, you remember all the words, don't you? So he needed a bedtime story. Afterward, Mrs. Bear pulled one side of the blanket way up high under Sam's chin, and the blanket was red. See the red blanket? She pulled the other side too, tucking it under his toes like a nest. Outside, the wind blew. Ooh, ooh. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Hmm. Must be something else they need to do. Mrs. Bear arranged Sam's friends in the bed, and they all snuggled close in the blanket that was red. Outside, the rain came down, splat on the roof, splat, splat on the window. 
the wind blew. Ooh. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Still something else they need to do. Mrs. Bear poured milk in two glasses and they both drank milk and it was warm sliding down. Afterward, Mrs. Bear yawned. Oh, you must be ready now, she said. But Sam shook his head. I'm waiting, he said. Hmm. Still something else they need to do? Hmm, said Mrs. Bear. Let me think. We've read a book and made a nest, arranged your friends, and had warm milk. Sam, she said, what did I forget? You know, said Sam. What do you think that they've forgotten? Can you think of something? Hmm, said Mrs. Bear. Book, blanket, friends, milk. Book, blanket, friends, milk. Sam waited. He waited and waited. And then, at last, Mrs. Bear said, Oh, I know. Kiss goodnight, Sam. And she bent way down, kissing Sam once and twice and then twice more. Got a lot of kisses. Again, cried Sam. And she bent way down, kissing Sam once and twice and then twice more. Outside, the wind blew and the rain came down. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear was take, taking out the light, whispering, Kiss goodnight, Sam. Kiss goodnight. And Sam went to sleep on a dark and stormy night on Plum Street. Oh, there's the fox again. Still playing around outside. I guess he doesn't mind the dark and stormy night. And these are the houses along the street. Which one do you think is Sam's house? Hmm. If I remember right, they said it was in a little white house. So which one would that be? There it is. There's Sam's house right there. And he did all those things to get ready for bed. Do you do any of those things? Read a story? Does someone read a story to you sometimes when you're going to bed? A lot of people do that at night. They read a book and they made a nest with his blanket on him. And they got his friends with him. And they had a drink. Maybe you do some of those things to get ready for bed. But now Sam's in his house. He's asleep. The end. Oh, there goes the fox. I hope you enjoyed this story. I would love to read you more stories again sometime. And thank you for joining me. Bye.